I said a book is on the table and a lamp is to the left, you could probably sketch out where everything is. But what about a language model? Could it understand that kind of spatial setup just from reading text? Well, researchers found something wild. Language models can build a 3D mental model, kind of a spatial world hidden inside the embeddings. Now, to figure this out, a team prompted llama models with simple scene descriptions, something like the red cube is above the blue cube. Then they grabbed the model's internal activations, the embeddings, and they trained a linear probe to decode the X, Y, Z coordinates of each object. And guess what? It works, like, really well. The spatial layout was implicitly encoded inside the model's weights. Even cooler, the space was interpretable. They found three clear directions, X, Y, and Z, that formed a geometric basis. They pushed it a little bit further. What if you actually move an object inside the space? Does the model really update its understanding? They tried it. They took the embeddings for the red cube, shifted it two units to the right, and asked, where's the red cube now? And the model replied, well, to the right of the blue cube. This shows us something powerful, that these models just don't read text, they form in internal maps. And with tools like linear probes and causal interventions, we can start to open up the black box and peek inside.